Hi guys, um, it's Finn and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would do a bit of a fun video. So somebody on TikTok asked me if I could do a rich mum get ready with me. Now I did one of these so long ago, probably October last year, but I thought I would do it again in a longer form here on my YouTube channel and obviously make it ASMR for you guys. So to make this make more sense in my own head, um, this is going to be a parody of Vogue Beauty Secrets with the Rich Aussie Mum. So with that being said, I'm going to stop talking now and we're going to get started, okay darlings? <laughs> okay, well I'll just set up the lighting in the, in the camera. Okay, is that looking, is that looking good? Okay, yeah, I think so. Well, goodness gracious, you fellow Vogue. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Natasha, okay? I am, you know, a little bit of a TikTok sensation. <laughs> but today, I thought I'd share with you guys some of my beauty secrets, okay? I'm very passionate about self-care and about sort of, you know, putting my best face forward, okay? So I thought I'd share with you guys my everyday makeup routine, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I take a little bit of concealer, okay? I use the Lasting Radiance by Rimmel, alright? And I just pop that on my under eye baggies, okay? I think it's really, really important to keep those ones covered up, okay? It doesn't matter how little you've slept, no one should know, okay? I also just pop some of that on my eyelids too. And then I'm going to grab my gorgeous beauty blender and we're just going to blend that in very softly, okay? Now darlings, you do want to be gentle when you're working with the skin around your eyes, okay? It's very, very delicate, darlings. So we really just want to tap, 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 darlings. Okay? Tap, 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 tap. like that okay beautiful now once I've done my eyes I'm going to take a little bit of the lasting radiance foundation okay just a little pump darlings like that just on the back of my hand and I'm going to take my beauty blender okay dip into it very gently and then just bring it along my jawline darlings and sort of work it up my temple and my cheeks as well, okay darlings? Now darlings, this foundation is just a tiny bit darker than that concealer, okay? And that's just going to give me a little bit more of a, um, you know, sort of warm and then varied complexion, okay? So I don't use this method all the time, just when I'm a little bit more tanned. Um, but I mean, I do really like how it gives your skin sort of just a little bit more depth to it. Okay, and then I'm going to take another pump, darlings. Oops. Again, just dip into it with my beauty blender. And this one, I'm going to just dab into my forehead, just nice and gently. And as I work around my hairline, I do just like to sometimes drag it a little bit just to make sure that I get a nice blend between the hairline and my skin because there's nothing worse, darlings, than sort of having a very, um, a very obvious uh, a blending line, is there? No. Sorry, darlings, this is my bad side, so I do apologise. I'll try and go quickly for you, <laughs> just to sort of spare you the pain. And then I just have a tiny bit left, so with that, I'll just dot it on the top of my cheekbones, just because I can. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go back into my concealer, okay? And I'm going to grab this little spot here, bridge and the tip of my nose, around the nostrils, okay? And then a little bit 
on my chin here. And actually maybe a little bit on my forehead. Okay, just like that. And then darlings again with my trusty beauty blender. I'm just going to blend that one in. When I go over the bridge and the tip of my nose, I also take it down a little bit, just so, you know, I really make sure I'm covering all bases. So now, as you can see, I am very, very oily and very shiny right now, darlings. I do apologise, I've just gotten back from Pilates. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the Nude by Nature setting powder, okay? And it is a loose powder, okay, darling? So I'm just going to gently tap a little bit into the lid, okay? Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush. And just dip the tip in there and first, darlings, I'm going to set my eyes because I do not want those to crease, okay? So I focus on my lids and then under my eyes. And then once I've done that, I pop some powder up in my T-zone down my nose, which is part of the T-zone, of course, on my chin, and then I really, really focus it in and around here because that's where I get really oily during the day, so. finished with the powder stage, I'll then move on to some blusher, okay? So I'm actually borrowing Charlotte's blusher today, okay? But unfortunately it is broken because Kyle got his grubby little hands on it the other day, so I guess we just have to live with that. So then I'm going to take a different big fluffy brush and just dip into that really gently. Tap off the excess. And then I always tell Charlotte, who's my daughter, if you don't know, I always tell her smile. And then we just sweep it up the cheeks. Circular motion, sweep it up the cheekbones. Very nice, swift movements, okay? And then I'll just take my beauty blender and just blend it out a little bit. Follow through with the other side. Like that. And again, going to take my little beauty blender and just blend that out a little bit more. Next thing I'm going to do, okay, is I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny bit of blusher, okay, and I'm just going to pop it on the tip of my nose, okay? Again, grab my beauty blender and just smooth it out. I did see lots of um, young girls um, doing it like this and I just thought it looked so beautiful that I had to try. And then I also just like to take a little bit of blusher up into my temples and sort of into the hairline a little bit. Okay, darlings? And I feel this just really gives a little bit more warmth and a little bit more sort of vibrancy to your look um, and I just think it's a really really nice way to sort of you know um, warm up the face yeah looks very very natural and then the other side of course we go up into the temple keeping those sweeping motions darling really really blend that out and then finally I just like to take a little bit more blusher 
and pop it just on the high point of my chin. darlings is brows okay now I'm a really big fan of a very natural brow but tidy as well so I'm gonna take this beautiful brow gel by Rimmel again okay and I'm just going to brush the hairs of my brow up and then I'm gonna smooth the edges down so I'll show you what I mean okay so first I go up and sort of out to the side like this Grab a little bit more brow gel. Repeat that step again, like this, darlings. So it's looking a little bit crazy right now, okay? Then I'm just going to take the edge of that spoolie and just gently neaten up the edges of that brow. Like so, darlings. Okay, so now we'll do the other side. Again, we go up, darlings, and then out when we get to the tail, like this. And then we just smooth the edges. Okay, now on this brow, I do have a little funny bit just here. Can you see that? So I have tried to get it, you know, fixed, but doctors, oh, apparently they won't do anything about it. So what I do is I just embrace it, darlings, take a little bit of that same brow gel and I just brush them up. Okay. So that's brows done, darlings. Now we're going to do our eyes, I think. So I'm going to take this new bronzer, okay, that I'm trying out. It is the Revlon Skin Lights Bronzer in the shade, let's have a little look-see. Havana Gleam. Oh, what a beautiful name, Havana Gleam. And in French, darlings, it's Lueur de la Havane. Isn't that beautiful? I took French in high school, I did. I was actually the best in my class, I was. Yeah. I'm almost fluent, but you know, I don't, I don't brag about such things. <laughs> Je m'appelle Natasha. <laughs> Bit of fun, bit of fun. Okay, so I just take this one, fluffy brush, very simple, pop it in the crease and just blend, 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 darlings. This is definitely my go-to look when I'm sort of in a rush in the mornings, you know. I often have sort of a lot of responsibilities and things to get done in the morning, you know. Kyle's often got to go to soccer practice or Charlotte's got to go to band rehearsal. I'm just pulled every which way. So, you know, I really, I was really excited when I found this little, um, this little hack because it's so quick, so easy. But yes, this really gives me that depth. Okay, darling? So I, I would definitely recommend, absolutely. Okay, then I dip in again tap the excess and do the other eye. And darlings, you know me, I'm all about those really soft, sweeping motions, okay? So we keep it very, very gentle, very soft and very light, especially, I know I talked about this earlier, but especially when we're dealing with the skin, okay, around our eyes, darlings, it's no joke, okay? We don't laugh about it. It's very, very important to be gentle, okay? Okay, so then I just check in my little mirror if it's looking even. Do a couple of little touch-ups just here and there. Okay, and that's looking good. Okay, so darlings, I think the next step for the eyes today are going to be a little bit of liquid eyeliner. Now, I was scrolling on Pinterest the other day and I saw all these really, really beautiful young girls doing this beautiful um, eyeliner shape, which they called a cat eye. And I just thought that was absolutely stunning, okay? So that's what we're going to do here today, okay, darlings? I've got my May 
Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner and it's in the shade Black Slash Noir. Bit of Le Francais again for you darlings. Now when I do this liner, okay darlings, I take my mirror, I pop it underneath me and I look down as I do it, okay? So I am just going to concentrate on this part darlings just because, you know, I'm still learning but I'll be back in a little bit to keep chatting with you. Okay, so darlings, as you can see, I've done my eyeliner. I like to keep it a little bit more of a subtle wing. Okay, darlings, um, but now this is done, I'm going to move on to mascara, which, darlings, I can't actually show you or tell you what mascara I'm using, okay? Because I've got a very exciting collab coming soon, I do, but I won't deprive you of the sound of opening a mascara bottle. Are we ready, darlings? Oh, isn't that absolutely divine? Okay, so I'll pop this on my eyes, darlings, and I'll be back in just a second, okay? And ta-da, darlings, so my eyes are done. You know I love a good bit of drama. So what we're gonna do next, okay, is my absolute favorite part, darlings, and that is lippy, okay? So darlings, if you know me, you know that my lippy of choice is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon, okay darlings, in the shade 15, lead the way, okay? Now darlings, I am going to get super close and personal, okay? Just so you can see exactly what I'm doing when I do my lippies, alright? So what I do, darlings, is I just take that lippy pencil and drag it really gently down the outside of my lip. Okay. I do go over just a tiny bit and then down here again just dragging it like this. Okay darlings? Now I have gone over lines a bit there so I'll just take a cotton bud and neaten that one up a little bit like that. So you can see, darlings, really big difference, okay? And again, I just overline my lips a little bit. This side of my lips are slightly, slightly smaller than the other side. So I actually overline them even just a little bit more than the other side. And then again, darlings, I take that lippy and then just begin sort of spread the colour, okay? Then I pat my lips together. Okay. Pop that lid back on. And then, what I've just been absolutely adoring recently, okay, is popping a little bit of this gorgeous lip lacquer just on the top of that, okay? So this is the, oh, I forgot my glasses, Revlon Ultra HD Lip Lacquer in the shade Pink Diamond, okay? Oh, let's see here, they have it in French, okay? Revlon Ultra HD Lac à Lèvres in the shade Diamond Rose. So beautiful. I mean, darlings, I just, I really love how beautiful this packaging is, okay? It's absolutely gorgeous. And I love up here, they have a beautiful little diamond. Listen to that, darlings. So lovely. And I just sort of adore the way it shines in the light. So let's take a little bit of this one. Okay, beautiful. So it just has a really nice brush on the end, darlings. And then I take that one. And I just paint it onto my lips very gently. I like to do this in just gentle sweeping motions. Then again. Beautiful, okay. Yep. 
Yeah, that's looking really beautiful. Okay. So darlings, I'm almost done, but one last thing that's really, really integral to my beauty secrets, okay? And I have to share it with you, okay? Pearls, okay? I just love a good string of pearls. I think pearls are a girl's best friend. So of course I pop those ones on, darling. Fix up my outfit a little bit. Okay, right. Well, that's my look, darling. So now I'm ready to go and pick up Charlotte and Kyle from school. Looking like a movie star, if I do say so myself. La vie en rose. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, darling, so much for watching. And a big thank you to Vogue for having me. <laughs> I'm going to have to call up Linda and let her know that I'm working with Vogue now. She'll want me back. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, it's been lovely, darlings. And um, hopefully I will see you all soon. Kisses. And remember, darlings, a good bit of lippy fixes everything. It's a loose powder, okay? So I'm going... Oh, fuck. Hello. Yeah? And I saw a lot of girls... <coughs> Shit. Oh, where'd that go? Have I lost you? Fucking hell, I think I lost you. Hold on. This is where I got attacked by the huntsman. Oh, I found it. We've literally lost me bloody lippy. Oh, goodness gracious, him. Oh, now you know where it might be. I'm just gonna pop some of that on. Okay. So of course I pop that on. Oh, probably, yeah. Those ones on. Oh, fuck. So I'm ready to go and pick up Carlet and... Oh, right, and that's my look, Stelling. She'll want me back. <laughs>